Hello, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will learn about few of course that is related to conditional statements. So let's go through our program. So here we are writing the code in fully free format. And to write the code in fully free format, you have to write star star free on this position, very first position. And after that, whatever you will write, it will be considered as a fully free format. So these are the comment line that is started with double slash. And these are the control option that I have specified for the debugging purpose. So here I'm setting star no debug IO and SRC STMT. So these are the uh, mainly for the debugging purpose. So you, I usually keep this line in each and every code. Now below to that, I have declared two variable where one and result wherever is of numeric type zone of length five and result is of character type of length 20. Okay, so let's see the example of if else if and else opcode okay so if else if and else opcode is mainly used for the conditional statements suppose if you want to execute your statement on the basis of some condition then in that case you can utilize this if else if and else opcode okay so let's see how so here on line number 21 i am assigning some value to this where one variable which is 10. now on line number 23 i'm checking whether where one value is less than zero if it is less than zero then i'm assigning result as a negative value because it is correct because where one is if it is less than zero then it means it is a negative value whatever the value is in where one is will be considered as a negative because it is less than zero and then we are just displaying the same to the user so this is the first condition we are checking this is the first condition we are checking with the help of if so this is the if of code now with if we can also use one more condition like suppose if you want to check few more conditions uh, in a same uh, program then in that case use uh, you can use this else if also so else if we use for checking the another condition so here i am checking one more condition like uh, else if where one is greater than zero if it is greater than zero, then I'm displaying the message as positive value. And after assigning this to result variable, I'm just displaying it. Okay. Similarly, suppose if I want to check another uh, condition, so I will repeat this line else if, and then where one equals to that condition. Suppose where one equals to five. If uh, my where one is five, then I will display input is five. Okay, but for now I'm not checking uh, another condition. I'm just checking two condition. If where one is less than zero, then I'm displaying negative value. If where one is uh, greater than zero, then I'm displaying it as a positive value. Then, so we have seen the two of course, if and else if. So with if and else if, we also use the else condition. So what will happen in else? Like suppose this condition is not true, then it will check for this condition and if this is also not true then this condition will be executed so this is you can say by default condition so if above or previous two conditions are not true then this condition will be executed so here i'm just setting result value zero because if it is not less than zero then it is not a negative value if it is not greater than zero then it is not a positive value it means it is actually a equals to zero value so that's what we are displaying here and just to terminate this we have to use this end if opcode so if you observe carefully then here we are using opcodes if else if else and end if so this is the this is how we use this if is for starting the condition else if for including the another condition and else is for setting the default condition and end if for terminating the statement or end the conditions so let's compile the program so here i'm setting it as a 10 so what it will do it will check it will check where one is less than zero so it will find no it is not less than zero so it will skip these lines and directly came to line number 28 and then it will check where one is greater than zero so yes it is greater than zero so that's why it will execute these two lines and once these condition is true it will directly came out to the line number 38 this will not execute it because this is the else part if those conditions are not true then only this will be executed so let's see whether we are getting the positive value or not yes we are getting positive value because 10 is greater than 
zero. Okay. Now let's change this value. Suppose I make it as a minus ten. So in this condition, what will happen? It will check for line number twenty-three, where one is less than zero. So yes, it is less than zero. So it will be populated as negative value, and then directly it will came to this end if condition. Okay. So let's check whether we are getting the negative value as an output or not. So yes, we are getting correct negative value. Now suppose I have passed value as zero, so it means both the condition are false because where one is not less than zero, and also where one is not greater than zero, then in that case it will execute this line. It means where it values zero. So let's check. Yes, we are getting the correct output value zero because above two condition are false and it goes to the by default condition. So this is how we can use uh, if else if and else condition and else if you can repeat as many of time uh, as many number of time you want to check the condition. Suppose I want to check include one more condition here. So what I will do I will insert line and I will add here if where one equals to five. Okay, then directly assign the result as number five. So I am setting it as a result. Result five. Okay, and then we are just displaying it to the user. So let's compile and check. Uh, before that, we have to set this value as five because if it is five, then only it will go in this condition and display the five as a output. So let's compile and check. Compile successfully. Now I'm calling it. So it is showing positive value. Why it is showing positive value? Now we have to check the logic. It is showing positive value because it satisfies this this condition. This condition is for like where one is also greater than zero, right? Because it five is also greater than zero. So that's why it execute this line, not this. So how we will execute this line to make it executable? We have to check this condition prior to this positive condition. So now I'm, I'm just moving it to after this. So now now what will happen? It will check firstly this condition where one is equal to five. If it is five, then it will go inside this. Otherwise, it will check for the positive one. So let's compile it again. We are getting five. So this time code executes successfully. Why? Because here, firstly, we are checking whether the value is less than uh, zero. No, it is not less than zero. So directly came to this condition. Now it is checking where one is equal to five. Yes, it is five. That's why it displays this, and it is skipped the below uh, condition and directly go to the line number forty-four for end the statement. So mainly we have discussed uh, the opcodes if, else if, else and end if. Okay, so these are very useful statement because uh, only with the help of only these statement we can set the condition and we can execute our code conditionally. Okay, so that's all for this session. In the upcoming session we will discuss few more things. So thank you for watching Texture Method.